thing that can help us is the environment. Are you getting what I'm saying? When you create a system for someone to be more employable, he or she will key into that system. Are you getting what I'm saying now? And I'm talking about the, let me say, the academic uh, situation of Nigeria. It is unless you, 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 you try to tackle the problem, the problem of allowing people to know that as a student, when you are serious, you get, there's, a, there's, a, there's a chance for you outside there. I, I used to tell people that the, the only mistake that I made, and which is still painful to me, is that I accept the fact to my lecturer then that whenever you are, as a studio student, if you can come out with good grade, forget everything over there is going to work for you. That's the only mistake that I made, and today is still painful. Yes, but because I realized that even people that are not even serious, yes, and to the extent of you being serious, they are in good places just because of one big man or the other. So as far as I'm concerned, the only thing is that let the leader, the so-called leader, create a good system. That whenever you read your, your you read your book, yes, and you are, you are going to come out with good result. And whenever you come out with good result and you go out for aptitude test. It's going to be on merit. So anything aside that is going to be discouraging. Here you get. I believe they should be self-employed, and then they should go for capacity training, like kind of a, a seminar workshops that can empower them. That's what I think. It's from the system, the educational system, right from secondary school. They should inculcate the idea of uh, vocational studies. Learn one. Uh, Trade, either catering, furniture, then they too should have it in mind that government cannot provide job for everything and not everybody can work in Chevron or banks. They should be thinking of what they can do for themselves to learn one trade. As they are holidays, they can equally go and learn some of those tra trades. Even those that are reading mechanical engineering in the polytechnic or university, during the time, if they are on strike or they are on holiday, they should go to all these small small artists and mechanics, let them know how to repair vehicles, so that even after their education, they can set up a workshop. They should think more of what they can do for themselves. That is learning a trade. The government needs to know the population of the youth, because that is the section of the population that will make economy to grow. So what will make them employable one? There should be standard education. Corruption in our education is causing another problem because a lot of people are holding BSc today, but they cannot write their names. It's the corruption that leads to that level. And therefore, for a, a youth to be employed, not everybody cannot work in an office. Everybody cannot put on tie. But there are a lot of other 1,001 areas where youth can be employed, even by themselves, that they can work. What you need to do is you need to be creative. You need to be thinking. It is, you need not to rely on the government. Look at my age. I am almost, by December I will be 60. I left banking job almost 20 years ago. But today I am still agile, going up and down. I did not to start, I don't even have a retirement benefit from the bank because that's the policy. When you are going, they pay you off. But we were retrenched without even money. But today I trained three of my children to be a university graduate. And I, I told them, none of them is working any paid employment. So there are a lot of things they need to do to look inward to be able to, you don't need to rely on the government. For them to be gainfully employed, you need to be, to have your number six thinking. We are in an economically downtrodden society. Things are not working the way it ought to work. So the youth, in my own opinion, should not just look at, you know, white collar jobs or stuff like that. You, the youth should try and look for things to do. You see, to invent is creativity. Economy is no longer at the bottom of the foot. It's now upstairs there. So you can, the youth can look around. What do I need to create in this community? What is lacking in this community that I can create and make money out of it? So that is my own opinion. Because up there, the white collar jobs are not, you know, it's just as if demand is more than supply. You have an opening for probably 1,000 candidates and 10 million candidates are, are employed. So it will now be the survival of the fittest and people will do all manner of things to get there. So in my own opinion, I think youth should look 
to be creative. Economy is no longer under defeat, it's up here.